Welcome to the Reality Report. I'm Gary Franchi, joined now by Nick and Drew, two contributors to a website that has arisen in response to the recent epidemic of police tyranny against the American people. The website is copblock.org. Welcome to the show, guys. Let's talk about the website. What exactly is copblock.org and how did it start? Well, copblock.org is a group, a decentralized group of individuals that are united in their shared goals of uh, bringing attention to police accountability, uh, education of individual rights, and sharing of effective tactics to utilize while filming police. So filming police is a large part of it, am I right? Yes. Absolutely. Now, a, a, a term that's floating on the internet now is called cop blocking. Can you explain exactly what cop blocking is? Well, cop blocking is maybe a more proactive role that an activist can take and by going out on the street and filming interactions that other citizens are having with police, maybe they got pulled over or being harassed by police, and making a record of that for the individual who's being stopped so that you know they have some, some sort of record to take into court or to push for accountability of this uh, atrocity that a police officer may uh, inflict on them. Uh, so we're talking about cop blocking in general, but that's just one aspect of what you guys are trying to accomplish with this website because it's not just going out there and filming the police, but there's also just the citizen vigilance aspect of it. Could you explain how that works? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, citizens and with the technology increasing have access to cell phone cameras or uh, cheap regular video cameras that they can purchase and use in public and to make records of, of these events and, and when they're of being stopped by police and it's very easy and cheap to get it on to the internet and make it a, a recording of, of such an event and that you know with the government municipalities and uh, law, law enforcement having their own video cameras oftentimes the public doesn't have access to that video so it's important for them to have a record of their own and like I said the technology just makes it so much easier for them to do that from the, right from their cell phones. Let's, uh, let's play an example of just what you're speaking about there was a, a man in a wheelchair who was literally pulled out of the wheelchair. Well, I'll let the video speak for itself. Let's roll the tape. Now, what we just saw is an example of that citizen vigilance. Absolutely, and the, the videotape doesn't lie. Um, what was interesting about this story is that uh, members of the cop block team followed up with the D.C. police and really pressured them and twisted them to, to release a statement, a press release, in which they said the man fell out of his wheelchair. And again, the video doesn't lie. So it's important to put the police on record, You know, really apply pressure, and that's one thing that, that cop block can do. People can you know, share these videos on our website and in our forum, and then other members of the team can follow up with the individual agencies and really put the screws to them and say, you know, we want accountability for these actions. And what we saw in the videotape, we feel, is... Uh, police abuse. Now, how does modern technology play a role in law enforcement today? Well, the cops are rolling cameras 24-7. They've got cops in front of their, in their dashboards. They've got cops on street corners and street lights. They've got little flashing light boxes and ev everywhere you look, there's, there's CCTV going up everywhere. Um, it's time to watch the watchers. Uh, turn your cell phone into a live streaming uh, camera uh, if you have a smartphone, you can download Quick. It's Q I K. You get it at quick.com. Uh, it's a free streaming tool that 
you you use while you're in an interaction with the police and no matter what the police do to you or to your phone that video is stored off-site online and they can't erase it or stomp it out of existence so that's basically a good um, alternative because what we're seeing now is people's cameras being destroyed by police i mean we saw what happened uh, in miami uh, we've seen multiple examples of of police arresting people simply the, for filming right the the thing in miami was great because uh it's made the news enough times that you can't trust the police they're going to do what they can to destroy your phone. They're going to do what they can to destroy your video. Uh, when, when that police officer smashed that videographer's phone, uh, the videographer had enough uh, sense of mind to go and grab that uh, memory card and, and hide it so that he could have it for, you know, if he ever needed to use it in his own defense. So would you say that, I mean, obviously, I mean, cops destroying cameras, is this a threat to the cop block mission? Well, no, because uh, you know activists who are going out and, and trying to participate in these activities, you know, should back each other up and have two cameras and one camera filming the videographer in the front and in a third camera maybe even farther away or at least be in communication with other activists. You know, I don't encourage people to inter interact with police if they if they have any fear of them because the cops will turn on you and they will confiscate your camera, break your camera. They do feel intimidated by these cameras, so the activist needs to be prepared for what they're getting into but it's important for them to go out and, and participate in this community vigilance and help their fellow uh, community members. Could, could filming police officers be construed as obstructing justice or have, have these types of um, legal threats been used against people filming? Definitely. Um, that's why one of our uh, missions is to uh, disseminate effective tactics for filming the police. Um, if, unless you're the one who's being uh, confronted by a police officer, you probably want to stay back uh, at least a, a little bit. You don't want to get in their way. Uh, I have no problem. You probably wouldn't have a problem either letting them know that you're there because hopefully they're going to act better when they know that, that that eye is on them, that camera is watching them. And, you know, up until recently, it's always been the cop's word versus yours. Now, the website itself uh, is a repository of information. You have forums, you have blogs, you have places where people can actually submit uh, a report. Am right, I right? Right. Uh, if people run into a, an issue that they'd like to get some national coverage on, you can come be a guest blogger on copblock.org. Uh, we take uh, guest submissions quite frequently. Uh, some other things that come up when, when people get uh, arrested uh, for filming the police, which, you know, you can't get arrested. Well, maybe in Illinois you can get arrested for filming the police. But in lots of other places, they have to come up with other things like, oh, you're, you know, you're standing still and you should be moving. And that, that really happened in New Hampshire, by the way. But uh, there, there's another feature of copblock.org uh, where we have call floods, and you can sign up to uh, be alerted when uh, a fellow activist gets arrested. And we've had some great success with call floods. And what that means is w when somebody gets arrested, uh, this, this notice goes out, and then people from all over the country that are, are cop blockers, uh, they, they call the jail, and they just flood them. And we've, we've shut down switchboards that way. Uh, we've actually had people uh, released without charges just because we lit their trees or lit their phone tree up so much. Well, that's really that's really excellent. I'm I'm glad you guys are out there doing this. How can people support your efforts uh, and become a cop blocker? Well, first of all, just go to copblock.org, read the site, uh, check out the podcast is on there. Uh, we have almost daily uh, new. Uh, original content uh, from our in-house bloggers uh, get on there uh, go to the be active webpage get some tips on on how to film uh, see what mistakes others have made and share your ideas on our forum now you said you mentioned there's a podcast as well what what kind of information do you cover in the podcast well the, the podcast is a, a weekly uh, show where we cover uh, police brutality issues and sometimes we cover uh, other things like lawsuits where the cops have been found, you know, where they have to pay out a bunch of money and, you know, that's all taxpayer money. So we cover that as well. But you can listen to it on uh, LRN.FM or you can just sign up on copblock.org and check out the podcast. It's weekly and... And you have t-shirts, you have uh, door well, hangers. Absolutely, have t-shirts. You can go on the website and click the support tab, and there's a number of products up there that you can get, and we just got a new one. You can hang the comeback with a warrant door hanger on your door to let the cops know that you're not, uh, 
you're not going to put up with their uh, government intrusion. And uh, you know, so just another fun way to let the cops know that we are watching the watchers, and we know what you know, we know what their role should be as peace officers, and they're obviously uh, beyond that scope at this point in America today, and it's important for citizens to be continue to be vigilant. Yeah, when, when the cops get toys like tanks, body armor, and yeah. tasers, they want to use it, and we see it time and time again, and uh, I, I think it all goes back to the drug war and, and how it's really a war on people, and it's made life in America a lot less safe than it was before. Now, I'm sure a lot of people out there are asking this question. Uh, have you guys received any uh, opposition, uh, any threats because of the efforts or because of the, the website itself? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, people um, like to defend the status quo. They like to defend that these cops have more authority than average citizens just because they're wearing a badge and, a, and, a, and an outfit and, a, and an, a uniform. And we don't believe that's true. And um, it's important for citizens to keep an eye on them because they will get drunk on that power and take it too far. And um, how many times have we seen cops uh, abuse their their you know their their duties and, and what they're supposed to be doing and, and harm citizens innocent citizens and what what some people don't realize is that you see somebody's door get kicked in and they had a, a search warrant for drugs uh, some people that are defending the cops say oh I, I don't have drugs they're not gonna kick in my door well we all know that sometimes they get the address wrong and sometimes even if they have a warrant they're gonna come in and kill you well I'm glad you guys are out there, and folks at home, I want you to go to copblock.org, take action, uh, arm yourself with that video camera, and go out and, and learn the tactics that are necessary. Uh, be vigilant and preserve your rights and the rights of others. Thanks for joining us on this special edition of The Reality Report.